Good morning. Thanks for your company wherever you're tuning in from. Well, we had a great night on international equities as more government stimulus was planned in the US to combat coronavirus with Trump weighing up a $1 trillion stimulus package that includes cash payments, support for small business and the airlines as well. The news saw the US benchmark indices take back half of what they lost from the day before. The Dow Jones ended up about 5.2% higher, finishing at 21000 237 points. The Nasdaq and the S&P 500 were up uh, over 6%. In Europe, they officially shut down external borders in and out of EU countries, while people in France are still being ordered to stay home for the next two weeks. Euro and travel tourism stocks were down about 6%, while the broader European stock 600 pushed ahead up 2.2%. And back home today, we've just heard from the Australian Prime Minister, who has banned international travel and international gatherings of 100 people. He's also called upon the stockpiling behaviour to stop, saying it is ridiculous and unnecessary. Yesterday, we did hear some good news from the Australian government pledging $715 million to support our airliners via refunds, waivers, uh, including about $160 million of that being in upfront benefits. We also heard from some state and territory leaders as to how they're going to support each of the states and the workforce, which is why we saw the Aussie share market push ahead up about 5.8% yesterday. Earlier the futures were flat, so we'll have to wait and see how the day manifests. But we are seeing selling orders mount in those key stocks that have been seeing significant gains of late. Coles, Woolworths and Metcash are seeing a lot of uh, sell orders mount in, really as uh, their profits are quite high this year. Metcash is already up about 20% this year, in fact. In terms of key company announcements to watch, VAH of Virgin Australia suspended international flights from the end of this month right through to the 14th of June, grounding 53 of its fleet. Ramsey Healthcare, RHC, says it's standing by to support the Australian public health sector. At the same time, they also advised that the uh, hospital provider in, is in a good shape financially, with no debts maturing until October 2020. And that's really what we want to hear in times like these when we're really focused on looking at those companies that are going to survive this uh, with low low debt and high repeatable cash flows. We also heard from gaming machine business Aristocrat Leisure AWL. They withdrew their earnings guidance for this year as their customers are closing venues. We also heard from Mervac MGR. They withdrew their earnings forecast as well for the year. Despite that, they say that their gearing is low. Their loan to value ratio is about 20, 21% um, and they've got about $944 million in surplus cash and an undrawn bank facility ready to ride through the impact of COVID-19. In terms of upgrades, Afterpay APT was reiterated as a Bell Potter buy but uh, the company uh, has flagged, or Bill Potter has flagged that earnings and customer numbers for the year are down, but they are still strong despite retail dropping off significantly amid coronavirus. We're expecting to hear from Afterpay uh, in announcement as to how they've been affected uh, this quarter. Uh, despite that, we think that they should somewhat stand tall. They've got about 700, oh, sorry, $670 million in surplus funds, and they do have a repeat a loyal customer base that should help them navigate this difficult time. All in all, Bell Potter has dropped its price target for Afterpay to $45.95. That implies a 141% return over the next 12 months. And looking at commodities and the dollar, oil has dropped below $27 US. It's now at $26.82. So now the question is, when will we see lower petrol prices at the Bowser? Gold is steady at $1,525 an ounce. And the Aussie dollar dipped below 60 US cents briefly, a new 17-year low, which is good for our exporters, while it's also limiting some of the losses in those unhedged international equity portfolios. Please stay safe, have a happy day, and take care.